Okay, so I'm starting a new project. I've been here at this house for a little over a year now, and I don't plan on moving for another year, at least probably. I actually don't mind it here. It's really nice. It's small, and I'm trying to increase my wealth at this stage of my life, and so that requires a lot of downsizing and saving and just being really smart with money, which I never really have been up until just a few years ago when I started really investing and saving. Anyways, so I like this place where I'm in, and I'm a firm believer that you, don't, you never know how much time you have left you may as well not be crazy with everything in life but enjoy the things that you can so For the past year, I've been wanting to create this outdoor tablescape. I wanted to actually put a small lap pool with pressure in there so I can swim train. The problem with kind of having this endless pool sort of thing, the ground is not really that stable. I live in California and I live in the mountains and there's a lot of gophers. So if you go to walk outside in this space, for example, your feet will sink in certain areas, at least six inches in a lot of spots. It's not very stable. So that wouldn't really work for this place. Plus I'm trying to haul an endless pool all the way up 80 stairs and what if I need to drain it just go down into the neighbor so that wasn't gonna work out so I thought the best thing I could do right now with this use of space is to create kind of like a platform bed and with that I wanted to either use it for doing outdoor workouts or when my massage guy comes to go out there and do the massage so on that platform bed I wanted to do dark walnut because I just love the look of dark wood outdoors I actually got that idea when I was in Dominica staying at Secret Bay it was just gorgeous how they had dark walnut contrast in the outdoor I think it just looks so luxurious but dark walnut isn't great if they're termites and it's not great when it comes to lasting very long outside so I'm gonna do redwood cedar because around here there are a lot of termites and I want this to be able to last and I want to do it properly and be able to bring it to my next place I'm gonna get redwood cedar I'm gonna stain it dark wood looking so I think that'll last because it'll also be weatherproofing it so making it waterproof and weatherproof and termites are kind of deterred away from eating redwood as well and cedar so that's what I'm thinking about doing and then I do want to get a really nice wooden tablescape for out there. I haven't gotten that far yet and I don't even know if I want to make it or if I want to buy it. The type of wooden table that I want is a grand at least. It's kind of like restoration hardware style but I, I really want to be careful with what I get because it's going to have to stay out there all year round because I just don't have enough space to bring it inside. It hardly rains here and it doesn't snow obviously but there is a lot of outdoor wildlife and insects so I just have to really be careful with what kind of wood table I get for the outdoors. So yeah, I want to be able to move it when I have the massage guy come and also be able to do some outdoor workouts and work outdoors and eat outside. It's just like I live in Southern California and it's just the perfect. I have essentially 12 feet by six feet to work with out there. Ideally, I do want to do a full platform out there like 12 foot by six feet because it's just such a space that is just, there can be a lot done with it. I just know that I'm really excited to get this project started. I've never really been interested in doing DIY home stuff because first of all, I don't own a home yet like that I live in, this this is a rental and I've just never really been into that sort of stuff. But I am now, so I'm excited to get into it. So I'm gonna take you along with me on this journey and maybe you'll learn a thing or two. Maybe you'll not and you'll be able to help me. Either way, today is Saturday, October 31st. I expect to have this fully done by hopefully end of the week. Probably gonna spend a couple hours at Home Depot now. I already planned out everything that I needed and then I'm gonna come back and just get right to it. It's gonna be hopefully a quick project, but I don't know, it's my first one. So um, yeah, let's head to Home Depot and get this going. So I 
have the wood in my car here. It's sticking out the front. It's not sticking out the back. I have a window back there, but it won't open, so I have to drive really slow. These beams right here, so I had them cut from 16 feet down to 12 feet, and these beams right here are what's going to go underneath the platform to make it sturdy. And then the last thing I have to get is cement to make it more sturdy on the ground, but I don't need to get that until after I put it together. It's one o'clock now, and I'm hoping to get home and finish this project by the end of today. I think it should be okay as long as my screwdriver gun is charged. But yes, I hope to have it done and then painted by the end of today so tomorrow I can just start using it or at least get the blocks to finish the project. So I'll keep you guys updated in a sec. I'm gonna head back and be very careful driving. So essentially, I'm just gonna go in this area here. So from here to the hammock is like 15 feet. So these will start kind of like right here and then go to right here. If this is the end, that's the hammock. And then this is where it'll kind of end. it's so far I'm missing two pieces of wood and I got the wrong stain for it so last trip to Home Depot and then it's gonna be done by the end of today and I'll show you guys the birds fly south as the light leaves your eyes hold on to your dream oh I know you wanna scream Since the day you're born, you're just a flower on your own, waiting for the sun to blossom, hoping to break through the storm. Oh, they're just not going in and they're not coming out, and I just got really frustrated so I just hammered that one on in <laughs> and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do but uh, I was supposed to just have it painted I ended up taking another trip to Home Depot to get these specific things that go inside the nail gun that hold on to it better and that don't get stuck inside. So I'm hoping it'll make it a little bit of an easier process to drill the nails into the board so we'll see. beautiful and I really love it and um, when when I was connecting the lights 
I pulled too hard on the cord and the lights actually snapped the cord. So unfortunately, the lights are not all around the entire thing. Even though it fits perfectly, these lights fit like perfectly around the entire platform. Now it's just not around the back. So tomorrow I'm gonna go get a new one and set it up more properly. The paint will be dry tomorrow so I can add stuff onto it. I will show you, here's the grand reveal. See? 